All right, so now in this video, hopefully you've gotten your WordPress installed using either method one or method two. I definitely, like I said, I recommend you use Fantastico. And once you have installed WordPress, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the WordPress login address, okay, which you would have been given when you installed WordPress. And from there, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go ahead and enter in your username, okay, and then just go ahead, enter in your password that you were given, and then click on the login button. Now, once you've logged in, if it's your first time inside of WordPress, there's probably going to be a couple of pop-up messages and it's also going to tell me that right up here that the latest version of WordPress is available. So what I'd like you to do is if you're going to get if you get this message you won't always get this message but you can see the WordPress version that my web host has installed is 3.31 okay and the newest version is 3.5 so that's quite a big difference so what I'd like you to do is just go ahead and click the update now button and what it's going to do before updating please back up your databases and files because this is a brand new version we don't really need to do that because we don't have our our content in here yet so all that you need to do is click on the update now and what it's going to do is it's going to install the latest version for you. Okay, you can see we're in WordPress 3.5 now. It's going to tell us what's new. There's all kinds of new features. Has a nice new default theme. It's retina ready, meaning that real sharp detail you can get. Nice color. Tells you all the different changes that were made. Okay, now. The other thing that I'd like you to do is over here on plugins. Okay, we haven't really installed any, but there are um, there is one plugin that does have an update available. So if you just click on update available, okay, we can go ahead and click that. And it's telling me that there's a new version available. So we just want to click on. Oh, I'm sorry. We just want to go ahead and. If you want to just write down here, it's telling us there is a new version of this available. It gives us the details and we can choose to update it now. And if we just click on update now it's going to go ahead and update that for us. Okay. I didn't even have that plugin activated yet, but now it is. Okay. It's a plugin that I don't use, but I did want to make sure that it was updated so that you can see how that you would update your different plugins and update WordPress itself. Okay. So now we're in the latest version of WordPress. Over here we have our dashboard here, over here on the side. You can see we get this little notice here saying that there's two updates. And it's saying, hey, you have the latest version. There's nothing that you need to update in the WordPress itself. The only thing you might want to update would be these themes, but we're not going to be using it. These are older themes, like from 2011 and 2010. We're going to be using the newest theme of WordPress when we're starting. So we're not going to have to update it all. And you can see over here on the left side, your dashboard, it has all the different posts where you can add posts, you can add pages, you can add links, you can add media, which would be photos or videos. You can set your appearance. You can do all kinds of things over here on the left side. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some ways that we can go ahead and configure WordPress so that it looks good. Like if we go to WordPress right now, okay, 
if we go to our website right now, this is what it looks like right now. It looks like, you know, there's nothing. There's a sample post in here, but it's not the best looking site in the world just yet. But it's going to get there. And in these next videos, I'm going to show you some ways to make WordPress work a lot better.